Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below. But for those of you who are active subscribers on my channel, thank you so much. I am so happy to report that I have finally reached a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much for all of your likes and comments and support and feedback on what you guys like to see from my channel. I hope I am meeting your expectations and uploading content that you really enjoy. Um, as always, I just ask that you you keep coming back and commenting and letting me know do you like this or do you not like this do you want me to do something different so I really really appreciate that feedback but today I am going to be sharing how I organized my linen closet and I did organize it once before but I went over it with a fine tooth comb and really got rid of things and tried to hunker down you know what I really needed in there and I tried to use mostly Dollar Tree items I used some items from Walmart but either way it's a pretty budget-friendly reorganizational video so I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started so as you can see our closet was extremely disorganized and nothing seemed to have a proper place and everything was very scattered and needed to be addressed so I sat down and made a general list of things I was going to have in there where it made the most sense to put things and what items I would need to buy bins for. And this also helped me to just visualize how many shelves I had and assess the size of the bins I would need. That way I wouldn't be making several trips back and forth to the store trying out different things. I actually find that it's much easier to organize a space when you have a plan in action and you're not just guessing your way through your purchases at the store because most times you end up buying too much or too little of what you really need. It also helped me to figure out what do I really need in this closet? Like, do I have to have all of our toilet paper and all of our paper towels or just put some in there and the rest in storage? So a few space saving cutbacks that allowed for much more room in the closet. Once I cleared out that disastrous mess and wiped down the shelves, I started on the top shelf. I picked up this blue and white striped bin from Walmart, which I thought would be great to hold all of our extra vacuum cleaner bags. And I also placed our bath pillow on the side. Then I put our steamer on top as well as our sewing kit so it would be easily accessible when we need it. You could certainly keep paper towels and toilet paper in this sort of bin because it's lightweight and a good size for those items. I decided to move most of ours to the basement or under our bathroom sink instead. And next to that I stacked our hand towels which I changed daily in our bathroom. You could also put washcloths in there, I just decided to put those below our bathroom sink. Then for the shelf below that I stacked our regular towels on one side. Then I found these mason jars at the Dollar Tree which I thought would be perfect for holding our cotton swabs, some floss picks, and cotton balls. There's so many possibilities in what you could fill these with. Then I actually took an old candle from Walmart and I froze the wax to remove it so that I could use it to hold all of my nail polish. And with all these containers, since they're clear, you can see exactly what you have and you don't have to go digging through bins to find these items. It also makes for a nice display and just mixes things up between just towels and bins. Then for the bottom shelf, I found these gray woven plastic bins at Walmart, which were the perfect size for our taller items like medicine and hygienic items. I decided to fill one basket with all of our cold and flu medications, as well as our band-aids and pills, basically everything first aid related. Then in the other basket, I placed our hygienic items like shampoo, toothpaste, moisturizer, any kind of personal care that would belong to that category. And since these baskets are open at the top, we can easily see and access what we need without having to take them down to look inside. I also decided to place a different laundry basket at the bottom, and I got this one at Walmart. The color and size is a perfect fit right underneath the bottom shelf. I also decided we would keep only our whites in this hamper to keep it looking even cleaner. And it makes sense because it's right next to our bathroom, so we're usually putting towels and sheets in there anyway. And that is how I organized our linen closet. I love that everything is organized and in pretty much the same color palette, so it looks very chic and has almost like a spa feel to it. And I really love to reorganize and keep clutter down as much as I possibly can. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please be sure to like and comment below. Let me know what you would like to see next. If you haven't already checked out my pantry organizational video, be sure to click that link as well. Uh, that was a recent upload that I made, so I hope you guys would go check that out as well. Uh, I did do a poll of either doing organizational or beauty health type related videos. Let me know what you guys think on that poll. The feedback is always appreciated. And thank you so much for watching today. I hope to see you here next time. Have a good day.